Oh, hey guys, what's good, what's happening, and what's going on? Well, as you guys know, a couple videos ago, I showed the new gaming computer that I picked up from Best Buy. It was supposed to be one thing, got another thing, that's all right. But after doing some research, I found out some stuff that you guys are right about. Number one, the 4060 is pretty much the same price as the 3060 is right now. But I also discovered that the 4060, in some cases, is slower than the 3060 especially the 3060 with 12 gigs of RAM. So, right on. Um, it's got the one terabyte hard drive. Mind you, with that video card, it's still fine. Everything's fine about it. I played Rust on it. I played some other games. It runs great. It's a great little system. But there are some caveats that bother me. Number one, the proprietary motherboard or power supply system turns out isn't really that proprietary. A lot of pre-builds are coming like this where it's... The technology is called ATX12VO, so ATX 12 volt on board. Unlike your old ATX power supplies where you had like your 3.5 volts and your 5 volts and then your 12 volts all going into the main board, now it just takes 12 volts and ground and the board itself will regulate the power, which is why it came with that cable to plug into the main board if you wanted to hook up a SATA hard drive to send 5 volts to it. That's what's going on there. Now there is an adapter you can get to convert it from 24, uh, 24 pin power supply, ATX power supply down to a ATX 12 VO. And it's actually really cheap. It's like $13 on Amazon, but that's not what I ordered because we got a package from Amazon. It's a Black Friday thing. And for some reason they're advertising some movie called Trolls. Oh yeah, Trolls 3. Yeah, look, stupid Trolls. But I did order some upgrades for the computer. We're gonna go ahead and crack into these. Right meow. Let me show you what we're getting into. And then we're gonna install them in the computer. So, first off, we're gonna be jumping the RAM up a bit. Good old Black Friday deals. Got some 3200 megahertz DDR4, 32 gigabytes worth. We'll be doubling the RAM in the machine. Second, there's another piece uh, NVMe slot in there for a hard drive. So I'm gonna go see how there's already a Chinese drive in there. I figured we're gonna slam another Chinese drive into it, an NVMe 4 drive, which I don't know if that's gonna work. So I don't think that NVMe is four times. I'm pretty sure it's three times. So it's gonna down clock. It's not gonna hit the uh, suggested speeds of what they say, but it should do the job regardless. Two terabytes. It's on for a hundred bucks. Like, where were these when I was upgrading my laptop? And the last part, which is the easiest installation of all, when we play Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption, also known as Grand Theft Horsey, playing mouse and keyboard, pain in the ass. You need a controller. Well, I found the ugliest Xbox One Series X controller I could ever think of. Guys, look at how green that son bitch is. Also on sale, you can find them in your local stores and all that. Uh, so I decided to grab one of these. What's nice about this is it supports wireless and Bluetooth. I have Bluetooth on that computer, which means I don't need to dangle a cable from it. Now I'm pretty sure you do need to run AA batteries in it to use it. No idea how long those last, but if you watch the Flyer Day video, turns out Canadian Tire has a bunch on sale, so I may have to uh, jump in to Canadian Tire and buy a pack of batteries. However, no worry, it came with a set. Take a look at this beastly thing. Oh yeah, that's freaking bright. I'll never lose this. Nice, nice, very nice. But the fact that it has Bluetooth is dope. It's also USB-C, unlike the old ones, which were USB micro. So that is friggin' awesome, because the USB micro cables work great until they don't, and they usually break pretty damn quick. I think the next thing to do is to go power down the gaming system, get it up on the table, pop the side panel off, and start putting some hop-ups into her. 32 gigs of RAM, and a new solid state drive for recording and app storage. Let's go! All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and take the panel off, just like last time. We're gonna use the multi-tool because it worked so well. And not that I'm feeling lazy, I am feeling lazy. I don't feel like looking for my iFixit kit. This should do the job. I'm probably gonna need the iFixit kit though, because I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get the uh, the NVMe card out, or the screw that retains it down when you press it in place. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need my iFixit kit to pull that. So we'll go ahead and pop this off. Now, the one thing I'm curious about here, and I am right, 
Okay, I think this thing has a light built in. Yes, it does. So, I didn't get to show you this right last time because I was filming with the GoPro and it kind of screwed up. That is just a standard six pin that goes to the motherboard. Now, what they don't show you is the actual wire configuration. And there's only four wires going in. Or there's there five. There's five. Five wires going into a six pin. And that goes into there. This is the fan header for the CPU. And over here is an eight port, which is just your standard CPU support power supply, if you will, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this here basically drives more power to the CPU. Doesn't control the components. Your video card is powered by these plugs here. They do give you two on here though, but this is only a 500 watt power supply. My, what I was thinking about doing was getting another power supply, like a 650 or something, stoving it in here, or a 750, and then taking the 3070 out of the gaming, or the editing computer, putting it in here, and then taking this video card and putting it in the editing computer because you don't need an insane video processor for Magix Vegas. It uses a lot of CPU versus GPU. It only uses GPU to do video effects, which I don't do a lot in my videos, as you can tell, because I'm literally filming with a camcorder, or in this case, my cell phone, and going from there. So basically, I tried to show this in the previous video, but the GoPro didn't do it justice. This right here, that there, well, these are your SATA ports. And then the power your SATA drives, it's done through these little cables here, which draws from this 12 volt rail. All right, there's your NVMe for the second NVMe. So we're gonna pull that out and install the NVMe. Those are pretty easy to do. If you've never done one, I'll take you along for the tour. Hopefully you can see, hopefully I can give you a right angle so you can see. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. We'll figure it out. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of you have built your own computers. You know what, I might have to pull this video card just to get the RAM out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to. I didn't even realize that. Holy, she's in there tight. This plate, I, I don't think I can back these switches out. So let's go ahead and pull that video card out. And I should be able to release it down here. I'm going to do the RAM right now just to get that out of the way. Holy. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. There's like a little toggle on the side to release the card. I didn't see that. It kind of reminds me of a Dell build. But a lot of companies like Dell, Lenovo... HP, they're all using these new 12 VOs. This thing's screwed in over here too. There's some screws down here holding this stupid thing in. They really didn't want this to move. There's no way to, uh, well, it's attached to that plate. Holy, oh, I need a longer screwdriver. Jesus Murphy, they really didn't make this thing easy to upgrade. Well, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to do this. We're going to have to get leverage on the screwdriver, boys. We can't get leverage on the screwdriver, boys. This is pretty dumb. What a stupid setup. I need a longer screwdriver that I can ram in there and have enough sticking out where I can torque on it. Because right now this one here, the problem is, here let me show you what I'm dealing with here. Way the frig down there there's some screws and when I put the screwdriver in there, barely clears this plate. It's like pretty much even with the plate. So I got nowhere to grab onto and I need to turn that out and I can't turn it from the top because the top spins. So that's a bit of an issue. So I'm going to go ahead and try and figure out how I'm going to get those freaking screws out and I'll be back. Alrighty guys, got the screws out. I basically went out to the garage, grabbed this screwdriver here. It's a longer handle so it worked a little better. So now I should be able to extract this card with ease. I should probably disconnect the power line. Pull away, pull up. There we go. Pull this tiny little... the hell am I stuck on? Nothing, okay. Holy. So, it's not it's not a big video card. But they stuck it on this, this plate to, to protect it. To balance it. So that it doesn't sag, I guess. I don't know. She's tiny. She's itty bitty. I'm surprised they didn't make a 4060 12 gig. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, we can get to the RAM. Of course, I just realized you didn't even need to pull the card out. These don't move. They're solid. Oh, for the love of God. Anyway, what do we got in here for RAM? I don't even know the brand. There is no brand on it. It is so generic that there is no brand on it. I don't even know if you guys can see that. That is brandless. Cool. Well, I might as well put the video card back in. I'll leave it out till I get the RAM in. 
So if you're ever working on your Asus Nitro 50, just know you don't need to remove the video card and put the RAM in. Son of a bitch. All right, enough swearing. Let's go ahead and get this RAM upgrade installed. Let's see, where's my multi-tool? It's on the desk. I love this LPX Vengeance RAM. It's so good. I wonder if this motherboard supports LPX mode. Maybe I can turn it on. Run the RAM a little higher than 2100 megahertz. So this should only fit in one way. Lock it in, line it up. Please tell me this RAM isn't proprietary because that would be stupid. RAM is in. Let's get the second DIMM installed. Freaking heat sinks bouncing off the CPU heat sink. Lovely. There we go. Clipped in. Good to go. Let's see if it posts. Well, while I got that out, I might as well just go ahead and slap the MDME drive in. This will give me more storage because I've installed Grand Theft Auto and uh, Red Dead Redemption on here. And on the one terabyte hard drive, I got about 466 gigabytes free. So that sucks. I also installed my second license for Magic's Vegas on this computer because my old license for Vegas 19, I'm using it on my laptop. Oh, this is kind of cool. So you get the NVMe drive, they give you a screwdriver, and they give you the screw. A lot of times, computers don't come with that screw. Like my laptop doesn't have that screw in, and this one doesn't either. So I'm going to need it. That's good. That's good that this kit came with that, because I just realized that's a mounting screw for the mount or motherboard. It's missing the actual screw for the 2080 uh, card, so this is good. So these things here, basically, they're keyed. You can see the key there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see down there, but no, you can't because the SATA port's in the way. But there's a slot, so you literally just push it in like that. And when you press it down, it won't stay down. That's what the screw's for. So you basically screw it down, hold it in place. That's pretty much all there is, too, to installing a NVMe drive. Way easier than the old SATA drives and definitely than the old IDE drives. All right, I'm going to get this here all buttoned back up. At which point we'll go ahead and fire it up and make sure it works without going beep, 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 beep. Watch it post. All righty, guys. Before I button anything back up, I got everything back in there. I just want to fire it up. I got one monitor hooked up. Oh, shit. What did I press? What the hell is this? Okay. Obviously, I did something. I don't know why it goes on that screen. Like, it lights up in here, all red. I'm going to show you this. I pressed the wrong side. Of the oh, there we go. Acer Nitro. Let go delete. Oh, yeah, I don't even have a keyboard hooked up. Lovely. Lovely. All right, she boots. Good enough for me. All righty, guys, there you go. There's the BIOS on this thing. So it shows here that it has 32 gigs memory... S what? Total 32. It knows it's Corsair DDR4. Oh, because it says memory 1 and 2. Okay. So it shows you that th there's a total of 32 gigs there. And then down here it shows the storage, if I can find it on the camera. So we have the 1024 and then the 2000 for the Fang Zhang 2 terabyte uh, system fan is doing that stuff. And there's some nonsense up above. I There's not much really... Oh, here's advanced settings. Here we go. All right, so this shows all the RAM, shows the core frequency of that. I want to see if I go into advanced. Is there anything in here? Let's go ahead and boot up the computer. And then, uh, yeah, we'll check to make sure Windows can see everything. All righty, there you go. 32 gigs of RAM, and it sees both SSDs. I just need to manage the uh, second SSD and get it on board. And then we should be golden. Because right now it doesn't have a drive letter. I'm going to have to disconnect that portable. So I can give it the letter D for damn. Alrighty, so was able to move Rust, couldn't move Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead because they both have updates. I got nervous there when I saw that, but the drive is working, the RAM is working. The updates are cute, you're turned on. Just freaking do them already. Go ahead and re-download the game. That's literally what happens when these damn things update. I, 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 it's such a joke. Well, it's not too bad. Actually, Grand Theft Auto's going pretty good it's pretty sad that grand theft auto 5 still doesn't support ray tracing for pc yet it does on xbox series x and and uh x and playstation 5 but you know whatever so let me go ahead back over to your settings go back over here to storage 
clickety clackety move to the drive send it and it's being sent and it actually goes fairly quick seeing how red dead redemption 2 is like freaking massive like what are we looking at here we got 300 gigs worth of data wait no that's not right i don't even know how big it is um well shit okay let me well i can't show you because anyway it's 119 gigs for red dead redemption it's already halfway done so that's a pretty quick little drive it got a good reviews on Amazon, which is why I was like, you know what, I'll just bite the bullet on that. I'm only using it to store video games and video clips. So what's the big freaking deal, right? What's the big freaking deal? Anyway, guys, like I was saying, my plan is is to purchase that cable from Amazon for 20 bucks or whatever. I think it was $12.99. I think it was $12.99. And now that I know what I'm dealing with, I can actually just get another, any power supply. And it literally plugs the 24 pin into the uh, the 24 to 6 pin. You plug the 6 pin into the motherboard and you're off to the races. And then you can put like a 750. You can The cable apparently can handle up to 1000. And I watched the video of a guy who actually hooked a 1200 watt to it and it didn't explode. So, uh, sweet. But obviously it's sending 12 volts and the amperage isn't going to be different between the power supplies all it is is it gives you more leads on the back for more video card hookups and hard drive hookups so i'm going to get a modular so i can keep cable management to a minimal and see if there's a way i can route the cable behind up the back and then back over to plug it in if not well who cares i'll just cable management's never really been my thing so yeah that pretty much sums that up i do have um you you might have saw this this old controller, which I did try to use to play Grand Theft Auto. And it's got a, such a bad left drift on it that when you're not holding it and pushing it slightly to the right, the car will just start turning like it needs a mad alignment. Not No bueno. No bueno. So they had the Xbox One controllers on sale. I figured, you know what, I'm going to hop on that and grab that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Quick little upgrade. Nothing really crazy. We are going to do the video card swap and power supply swap in a later date. I am trying to make more content for you guys. I am trying to shoot more videos. Just I don't want to make this something like I, before where I was doing it daily. It was stressing me out. Trying to come up with ideas for content it was just brutal. So when I have time to shoot something, I'll shoot something. There's not going to be any schedule. It's just going to be whenever I have something and I'm like, hey, I can make a video out of that. Or I think of a funny idea for a video, I'm going to make a video whenever I have time. But as for now, guys, I'm shutting her down. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace the frig out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.